Do you know how thin the thinnest TV in the world is today? Only 2.57 millimeters. A credit card is about 0.76 millimeters thick. Which means this TV is thinner than a stack of four credit cards. It completely defies our usual perception of what a television looks like. It no longer feels like a TV, it's more like a painting hanging on the wall. Why are TVs getting thinner and thinner? And what surprising developments might future TVs bring? Today, let's explore the evolution of television. Looking at today's TVs, it's hard to imagine how bulky and space-consuming they used to be. Back then, they were more like heavy furniture and moving them around was a real challenge. These were called CRT cathode ray tube TVs. If we take apart a CRT TV, it's not hard to understand why it was so thick and heavy. At the heart of the CRT is a vacuum tube. At the back of the tube are three electron guns, red, green, and blue. These guns shoot electron beams that hit the screen coated with fluorescent materials corresponding to those colors, producing red, green, and blue light. By combining these lights in different ways, the TV creates the full range of colors we see on screen. To make this process work, the inside of the vacuum tube has to be evacuated of air. The outer glass casing must be thick enough to withstand the vacuum pressure. Add to that the power supply, signal processing circuits, and other components, and it's easy to see why CRT TVs were so large and heavy. However, with technological advances, people began to demand TVs that were thinner and more space efficient. This desire sparked the development of a new generation of display technologies. One of the key innovations that made thinner TVs possible was LCD technology. Liquid crystal is a special material with properties of both liquids and solids. It can flow like a liquid, yet its molecules are arranged in a regular pattern like a crystal. As early as 1888, Austrian scientist Friedrich Reinitzer discovered liquid crystals. However, it took nearly a century before LCDs saw real commercial application. In 1988, Japanese company Sharp launched the world's first LCD TV, widely recognized as the first commercially viable liquid crystal product. After 2000, improvements in technology made LCD TVs increasingly thinner and more affordable. And just like that, the once dominant bulky CRT TVs began to fade from our lives. LCD TVs are thinner than CRTs mainly because of their internal structure and display principles. An LCD TV consists of a liquid crystal panel and a backlight module. The panel itself is made of a liquid crystal layer sandwiched between two sheets of glass. The liquid crystal layer is the core of an LCD television, but it doesn't emit light by itself. Instead, it relies on an external backlight module to provide illumination. This module includes a light source, a light guide plate, reflector, and other optical components that help distribute the light evenly across the LCD panel. The liquid crystal layer controls the passage of light through the alignment of liquid crystal molecules. Combined with color filters, it mixes different intensities of light to produce the full range of colors we see on screen. Compared to CRTs, which use electron guns and vacuum tubes, LCDs have a simpler structure that only requires a display panel and a backlight module, making them much thinner and lighter. In early LCDs, fluorescent tubes were used as the light source. These functioned similarly to typical fluorescent lamps but were smaller in size. As LED technology matured, these fluorescent tubes were gradually replaced by LEDs, which are smaller and more energy efficient. Engineers later developed edge-lit LED backlight modules, placing the LED light sources at the sides of the panel rather than behind it. This innovative design drastically reduced the thickness of the backlight module and was one of the key reasons why LCD TVs became thinner over time. Even though LCD technology is highly mature, manufacturers have continued to innovate in pursuit of even thinner designs. The emergence of OLED technology marked the next major milestone in display development. In 2007, Sony released the world's first commercial OLED TV, which was only 3 mm thick. However, due to high production costs, it was never mass-produced. In 2013, LG launched the world's first 55-inch curved OLED TV, with a thickness of just 4 mm. This TV overcame the technical challenges of mass-producing large OLED panels and opened the door to large-scale commercialization of OLED displays. The reason OLED TVs can achieve such extreme thinness is directly tied to the innovative nature of OLED materials. In an LCD TV, the liquid crystal panel displays the image while the LED backlight provides light. In contrast, an OLED panel performs both functions, it emits light and displays images. 
OLEDs are made from ultra-thin layers of organic material, with each pixel consisting of these materials. When an electric current passes through, they emit light, and different materials produce different colors. By precisely controlling the brightness and color of each pixel, a full image is created. Because OLED panels are self-emissive and don't require a separate backlight module, they can be thinner than LCD panels. Beyond being self-emissive, OLED technology also enables flexible and transparent displays. These features led to the debut of transparent and rollable OLED TVs in 2020 and 2021, ushering in a revolutionary new era of television. As we witness the rapid evolution of these cutting-edge TVs, do you think it's just manufacturers showing off? Or do these innovations truly bring us a more convenient lifestyle? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments.